Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangled Skeins Crafter. Um, today I have an unboxing of a couple cross stitch kits from 7great.com. Um, they're both Joy Sunday. I haven't had Joy Sunday kits before, so I'm excited to try these out and see what the hype's about because I hear people talking about Joy Sunday all the time and I guess they're supposed to be really good. All right, let's jump in. It's just two kits, so it shouldn't take too long to show these. All right, let's set this one to the side. All right, here's the first one. This one's called Christmas Out of the Window. I wanted to get a couple of little Christmas or winter themed kits to try out because I'm just in the mood to stitch Christmassy and wintry things. I mean, it is December now. Puts me in the mood for, yeah, seasonal things. As many of you probably know, Joy Sunday prints their little instructions, tips, whatever sheet on the back of their package. Shows you how to choose your strands. Shows you how to choose which thread color to use on the printed and the unprinted. Shows you how to choose it from the legend and then how to choose the floss. How to stitch on the unprinted cloth. Has the usual notes like how to keep, that you should keep your hands clean and how on the printed ones they use contrast colors and how to back stitch last which I always do, which I rarely do anything that has backstitch, but when I do, I, I like to do it last. That way you can wash it and everything first and iron it. Shows you how many strands to use. Cleaning and maintaining your peas. Shows you the different stitches. Whole stitch, half stitch, quarter stitch, three quarter stitch, continuous, backstitch, cast off, and trench knots. It comes in these resealable bags, which is nice because I do run out of bags to keep my kits in because I don't like to keep them in there readily cheap plastic that they come in. Sorry, I can't do things and talk at the same time, apparently. Guess that's their number 14 count, two strands. All right, so it shows it's on cotton fabric with co has the cotton thread needle and the instructions with it. Ecology cotton floss. Does that mean cheap cotton floss? Um, 14 count, two strands. It's 18 by 26 centimeters. Cuts a nice thick paper, glossy paper. It's your legend. Looks like it has 13 collars, full stitch, two collars and back stitch. It's a simple little design. I figured it'd be maybe not real quick, but still quick, easy little stitch. The pattern's on the back. It's a clearly printed chart, easy to read. Looks like there's actually very little back stitch in this one, which is good. Which I mean, you're always free to add back stitch if you want more detail, you know, in your pieces. I think the hardest thing sometimes about deciding where to back stitch stuff is what color to use. I'm one of those people that like to just use blacks and dark browns and grays, but sometimes you need other colors. I hope I'm, did I even have that in frame? I haven't been looking at my screen. Too busy looking at, at it. It's pretty small. Which is what I was wanting. Something, like I said, pretty quick and easy. It'd be nice if I could actually get it done this month, but I know I won't be able to have a lot of stuff planned for this month. Between cross stitch and diamond painting and... I have some macrame I wanted to finish. 
that I started actually last Christmas. Sorry, I'm rambling. This is supposed to be an unboxing of these kits. All right, it's clearly printed. I can see the symbols clearly. Sorry, it's a lot of dead air. It's kind of hard to see the uh, the back stitch numbers and symbols, but I mean it's on the chart clearly. So if you can't see it well in here, then you can just refer back to the chart. The uh, the actual full stitches are clear. Nothing to get confused. I mean, the colors are pretty contrasting as they should be. Christmas out the window, so the name of it's printed on it, along with, I guess, its product number. I get confused on if, like, that F501 is the product number, the 2495 is the product number, but either way. Shows it's 72 stitches wide by 102 stitches high. There's not a whole lot of floss since it's a small piece, but... Oh, two needles. I forgot they do that. Two needles stapled to the floss card. It shows that it's 14 count, the two threads. There's 13 collars. Tans, oranges, reds, yellow, blues, greens, and white. I think it'll be a cute little piece. It's not anything real detailed or anything too fancy. It's kind of, to me, it's kind of old timey, old fashioned, which is something else I was looking for. Probably put it in a simple little frame and put it out every Christmas. All right, so I'm liking that one and I'm gonna be starting that soon. Let's look at the next one. This one's a little more detailed. This one is called Christmas Cafe. Again, it has all the instructions and everything printed on the back of the reusable plastic. I want to call it envelope, but baggy. I really like this one. I've been looking at it for a while. Fine teas, coffees, and foods. 14 count. Two strands. 27 by 27 centimeters, so a little bit bigger than the other one. Most of the chart is on one side. The rest of it's on the other. This one looks like it's going to have full stitch, half stitch, back stitch, and French knots. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the French knots. I am horrible at French knots. I might see if I can find little beads. I have a lot of beads here. And use those. Either that or I'm going to have to finally suck it up and learn how to do a proper French knot. Looks like a looks like it's kind of scattered all over. Maybe it's snowflakes. I guess it's the snowflakes that are falling are going to be the French knots. So it would be really cute with like little beads or something. So I might try that. I'm not going to hold myself to that though. It's going to have a lot more back stitching in it to bring out all the detail around the windows and all the items in the windows and the door, the letters. It's going to look really nice once all the back stitching is in. 17 colors, full stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and half stitch. 
one, two, three, four, five, and back stitch, and just the white 5200 DMC in the French knots. Like I said, a little bit bigger canvas, still not a huge one. Like I said, I was looking for some kind of smaller pieces to do. A lot of little details in here, but not too much confetti. Enough to enough changes in color to give it nice detail, but not it's not confetti heavy at all. So that's nice. Everything looks to be printed pretty clearly. Everything's in its square. The legend's printed clearly. So here's all the full stitch. Here's all the half stitch. Looks like they use a little checkerboard pattern for half stitch. The French knots. Now the French knot looks like it could be a little confusing because it looks like it's just yellow square. Yet these are all yellow square and that's not French knot. I wonder if this is like a misprint because it looks like the French knots are these little circles. I don't see those anywhere else. I mean, I see circles, but not like this. Referring back to the chart, yeah, all these little, I don't know if you can see it, all the little circles, like yellow circles, are the French knots. Yet on this little printing it says French knots and it just shows a yellow square, but the yellow square is also just the white. I don't know, maybe you could just stitch these squares as just plain white and not even have to do the French knots. I think I'm overthinking it. Anyway, then there's the half stitch. Or back stitch. I don't know why I just said half stitch. Back stitch. Which, you know, go according to the chart. I kind of wish they used different symbols, but at least they're all like very distinctive colors on these circles. I don't know if it's showing up well on the camera, but it's like a, a deep red, a bright pink, an orange, and a blue. So there's no way to get those mixed up. I don't think. Maybe the red and the pink. I see the pink. Pink. Where even is the, oh, up here's the darker. Yeah, they're, they're clear. You can tell which is which easily. Again, they have these little triangles, one black, one purple, purple black those are easy to tell apart too so yeah I don't think I'm gonna have any problems with this let's look at the colors the floss again two needles stapled this floss card has the DMC code the number that matches your legend and I guess how many how many links are in on each one? So is that like a half a length? Or how much? It's probably how much you're going to use out of it. Like I said, I haven't done Joy Sunday before, so I don't know how they set all their stuff up. It's got the code. 14 count. Not sure what that is. Anyway. I can't read Chinese. I like to get out my translator app and 
see what they say every once in a while, but sometimes the translations are way off. All right. number one through number 15 reds kind of a peachy tan blues pinks really dark green nice colors I like these colors they're kind of like a muted Christmas if that makes sense colors just old timey it just makes me think old timey Christmas here's 16 through 27 there's 27 colors in all. I hope you can see them. There's one little, well, two strands of black. So there's not a whole lot of black in it. Not a whole lot of dark colors in it. I think I'm going to enjoy this one. I enjoy Christmas images, Christmas scenery, Christmas. I love just everything to do with Christmas and winter and cross stitch and artwork. It just makes me happy. All right, so that is my two kits. seven great I forgot to tell you how much they show on the site right now this is a collaboration so I did not pay for these I forgot to mention that at the beginning but let's see we have the Christmas out of the window is showing at four dollars and thirteen cents on their site right now and their Christmas cafe is five dollars and seven cents on their site right now, which I think are good prices for these kits. If you think about it, then it's going to be hard to go and get the, the Ada and the floss and buy the pattern and everything else for this price from almost anywhere else. Alright, Seven Great. Have you heard of Seven Great? Have you been to Seven Great? I feel like they're a newer site. I, I don't remember coming across them until recently. Um, their little copyright, whatever, at the very bottom of their page says 2023, so that's this year. I don't know if that's when they came out or not. They have a little part on their site. This is our story, which says it Seven Great is a ragtag crew of engineers, designers, visionaries, and artists. We have wonderful DIY arts. Find your satisfied DIY cross stitch and relax yourself. Looks like it started from a shop shoplaza platform. They've been doing handicrafts from October 2020. They have more than 2,000 cross stitch handicrafts on their site, and they update every day. Um, if you go to their site, you'll see that they have Joy Sunday and Spring brands separate from the rest. So they have their own tabs. You can click on it and see what they offer. I've, I've heard a lot about Spring and Joy Sunday. Both are supposed to be really good. Oh, here comes the cat. He's going to join us. He is in my face. They have a tab that says what's new and they always are updating. There's always something really cute. He is on my microphone. Sorry about that. They have a really cute little Mario cross stitch that I've been looking at. But they have all kind of... I, I have a, a big wish list now for this site. They have some really good ones that I want to try out to stitch, not try out. I'm getting confused. They have a 50% off section that again has a lot of stuff that I want and I've been really tempted to do an order even though I'm supposed to be trying to save money since Christmas is coming up and I have to buy for family not myself. They have a mermaid stamped kit for 
less than five dollars right now and they're 50 percent off that i want so bad let's see tools they have tools they have um the little cutters which i think i talked about before somewhere but you can wear it as a necklace or something they're just little pendant cutters they have needle threaders some ones with pretty pictures on them they have the snap together frames try not to say the brand name that they're not they got hoops they got the erasable pins they have needles they have floss cards they have cute little scissors I want all the scissors looks like they have some wooden hoops also along with plastic ones they have several pages of tools I'm not gonna go through all of them for do-it-yourself crafts they have bookmarks and pillowcases they have canvas bags they have bead embroidery which are the little beaded like um, keychains they have a little Totoro one I really want a uh, big size cross stitch they have a a tab for that which looks like they have some 50 by 70s let me see they have a Pokemon one I'm clicking around on their site now they have a Pokemon one that is 100 by 170 centimeters so they have some pretty good sized ones they have a Joy Sunday stamped kit that is 222 centimeters by 45 centimeters that thing is huge it's really long it's really pretty and detailed it's like it's a town yeah they have a lot of really nice stuff on here they have a section for Halloween a section for Christmas um, their cross stitch you can click on this link and you'll see that they're separated in like Harry Potter landscape and town cartoons and characters baby and children words and phrases they have a section you know you can start from a certain price so you can see kits in different price ranges so yeah if you have not checked out seven great go check them out seven great Com. I'll have a link in my description along with links to both of these kits and um, I do have a discount code it's six percent off I will put the discount code on screen but it will also be in my description box um, I have a little section in my description I have a section in my description box where I list any discount code I have currently hopefully I edited out the weird awkward pauses and places where I couldn't speak so I thank you so much for joining me today I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of these two seven great kits well choice Sunday kits from sevengreat.com and um, I will see you next time thank you so much bye bye